Alright, thank you. Welcome to Crush Some TV. And I haven't recorded for a while, so I'm probably going to be a little rusty, but I just wanted to give you a little early update on the election because one state is actually reporting some results, which happens to be New Hampshire. And uh, a lot of people used to think that as New Hampshire goes, so go a whole lot of other states. And it kind of gives you an early indication of what might be happening, and uh, I think the results might surprise you. Um, so here I have The Economist, which is one of the polls uh, that they're always referring to as the polls say Biden. Well, they're, they're not a big fan of Trump. As you can see right down here, <laughs> the little red picture that they picked for Donald Trump makes him look like he's taking a dump, like he's going, oh, or something, you know? I mean, they're, they're not a friend of Trump in any way. So in their early poll, their final pre-election forecast was that Joe Biden is very likely to beat Donald Trump. They were figuring uh, 51 to 59% for Joe, 41 to 50 for Don, and right here, better than a 19 and 20. They're predicting this with 99% accuracy, they think. So you've been seeing CNN, NBC, oh, 90% chance to win. And here you go. Uh, they're saying like before the crash in April, uh, Trump was ahead. But then because of COVID, they think Biden now has a 98, 99% chance. Um, you know, and this is all their graphs pulling over time. And they are uh, no front. Uh, New Hampshire, one of the original 13 colonies, in the past uh, six out of seven elections, they voted blue. In 2016, they voted for uh, Hillary. They were 47 to 46.6, so it was close. 2012, they were blue. 20, uh, 2008, they were blue, so Obama twice. Uh, 2004, they were blue by a little. The last time they were red was in 2000. Uh, so that's the history of voting in New Hampshire. And you can see right there, you know, in the 70s, 80s, Republican, but then they flipped blue. Uh, so if you flip this, this is a pretty early indication. Well, let's take a look. Here, the Epic Times, one of my favorite uh, independent news sources, excellent, uh, not opinionated reporting. And what do we have? 61% Trump. Joe Biden is getting murdered in New Hampshire. 61 to 38. Now, of course, that's nowhere near final. Um, Polls are going to be open about another two and a half to three hours there, I believe. Um, but it is an early indication. New Hampshire's small, not a whole lot of people, not a whole lot of problems. So, you know, it's probably going to be pretty close to the way it ends unless some real weird hanky-panky crap comes out. So, it looks like, right now at least, Trump is flipping New Hampshire. Uh, you know, as I showed you before, six out of the last seven elections have been blue in New Hampshire. So if this is an early indication of the way the night is going to go, we're going to see a red wave. Uh, the red wave <laughs> is hopefully real. So uh, hopefully that'll save America because we cannot have China Joe in the office. Uh, have a great safe night. Keep your eyes peeled for the next three or four days because rumor out there is Antifa's planning some nasty stuff. So uh, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Share the video. That's the biggest compliment that you can give me. And have a great night. Go Trump!